I don't want uh, to support. I don't want to support uh, the Wheel of Time TV show. I'm going on a rant here, but I'm not gonna watch it. That was my big thing. My my phone just gave me a little alert. I hope I'm still recording. Here goes the the other book to the Edmund Dan Simmons. Ugh, this is a long video. Sorry, guys. Ah, uh, it's black tea, honey, and milk. Oh, the uh, booktuber who gave me this, they gave me a cool little uh, fairy package too. It came in one of those fairy loot boxes. I kept it, why not? Bobby Verse, I got found these ones, this cheap. We All Legends, for We All The Many. Uh, Shades of Orange, always talked about this. All These Worlds, and I picked them up. Okay, some more Pango books. This one came with a thank you letter too. Thank you. Uh, I wasn't gonna buy them. I probably paid a little bit extra, more than I should, but uh, I read her profile and she said, I'm going to college, I want extra money, so get, get me on that. Uh, Smashed, like I said, uh, Halloween's coming up. Some short story uh, graphic novels here, manga, Shiver, and then uh, Ramina. Jinto Ito. Some, so I got some manga to catch up on. Okay, Colson Whitehead. I read um, Harlem Shuffle. He, uh, he's a Pulitzer Prize winner. Uh, and he wrote a zombie novel. So I figured I'll check it out. 1984, Cats Cra 1984, Cats Carado, Kurt Vonnegut, George Orwell. Anthony Burgess, Clockwork Orange, Down and Out, Corey Dachau, in the Magic Kingdom, Down and Out in the Magic Kingdom, The Emerald Circus, James Lorlene, uh, what I was going to say, where is that book, oh, I didn't show this one, We Are the Last, Kate Wilhelm, this is another Hugo Award winning. Uh, what I was going to say, I was going to make a video because these books I read, like Bart Bartleby, The Shiveler, and Clockwork Orange are books that I read where I was going through a tough time in my life. And I was thinking that like, I could uh, make a video about that. Books that mean a lot to me or like got me through a rough time. Anyways, what other book do I got to get to? Okay. The Big Book of Science Fiction. The guy who wrote a uh, Jeff Jeff and Ann Vandermeer. He wrote a uh, Annihilation, the Southern Trilogy, something. But it's a big book of uh, science fiction. The best, the best of the best. Well, no, that's another collection I want to get. Samuel Delaney, Ursula K. Le Guin, Ray Bradbury, H.G. Uh, Wells, Phil K. Dick. Eager for that one. And then, okay, uh, we'll go with, now this is my most expensive book that I bought for the year, so far. This is on a single book. Demon Copperhead, Barbara Kingsworth. And now I hear you're saying this book doesn't add up. It's, I'm getting it for two reasons. One, uh, it's on my local book club that I go to every month. Uh, this is on the book list, and I have to get a copy of it, so that's one. Two, uh, it, I also have a book swap uh, meeting, and my books are always chosen last. I don't want to say it, but they are, so I figured this would be a nice one. And then three, I help out my local uh, small business bookstore with a big purchase, like 38 bucks for... It was thirty-two fifty. Oh yeah, thirty-five eighty-three. I paid thirty-five eighty-three. So that's my most expensive book, and I'm gonna give it away. How about that? But I did. I got an iPad, so it spread the karma out. Why not? Uh, the last book I have is uh, I shouldn't even. Well, 
I bought the whole series of this, the Dark Oval, and I we're just gonna give it away because the author, I I didn't want to show off the whole thing. The author, um, I don't even want to get into it. You can look her up, Mary Zimmer Bradley. Accused probably did awful crimes, and it's one of those separate the author from the artist things that people have to come to deal with and I will uh, the reason why I'm struggling with it is because I read three books in the Dark Over series and I love the world if you don't I don't want to promote it either right now well, the world is like a Ursula K. Le Guin's uh, one of her stories where it's a colony and gets lost but then it gets rediscovered and I liked it and uh, before I bought all the books then I looked her up and then I found that out and I got to come up with uh, if I'm going to keep those books. I said I was going to throw them. I'm not going to throw them away. I'm going to give them to the library. But I also want them, I also want to hear the story. And so I've been struggling with that. But uh, Fit to be Read. I'm, I'm sorry. If, I'm not trying to endorse anybody or nothing on these uh, videos. Or, you know, I, I know sometimes uh, you shouldn't say people's names. But uh, he had a video that... Uh, like 10 books you should read. And he does mention that, yeah, she's accused of, uh, accused or she's involved in some nasty shit. But, you know, I don't know. And he, but he, he recommended one of her books. And it just made me think, you know, should I be, I don't want to, it's a sensitive subject, but I never showed off those books, but there goes one of them. I got all 19 of them stashed over there. But pretty good. I hate to end on a downer note. But what I'm eager to read, let's have something happy. The, I, wouldn't, I would never have thought that my biggest find, my best, most happiest book that I'm most excited about is a dictionary about a fantasy novel, about a sci-fi fantasy novel. I heard a good hot take uh, that sci-fi and fantasy are interchangeable just depending on where you are in the world. Uh, like, because I, uh, Book of the New Sun is one of those books that the fantasy is so, so high fantasy that you confuse her with technology or you think it's, it's such high technology that it looks like magic. And there's a famous uh, Isaac Asimov or uh, Arthur C. Clarke quote that's like any, any magic is, uh, is, isn't discernible from technology or something like that. But how magic and fantasy could go hand in hand and... Book of the New Sun, what a trip. If, uh, yeah, cool pictures, nights. And then it has a timeline too, where it talks about the dinosaurs and ancient Aztecs. And I don't want to give away too much of the story, but it's a trip. And it just helps you understand it. And then Book of the New Sun is going to be um, the book that I, I'm going to reread. My first reread of the new year, whenever the when, whenever the new year, when the next year starts, Book of the New Sun, I'm going to reread, and then I'm going to read the sequels that I got here, the uh, Infinity, the Book of the Long Sun. I don't think it's one, because the Book of the New Sun pre ended pretty, that's the end of the story. I don't see how that could continue. Well, yeah, any story could continue, but I'm, inf I'm interested to see that. I'm happy about everything, my sci-fi short stories collections. I feel like my library is really, really impressive. I'm impressed. I love it. I'm going to spend the whole day now reorganizing things. So my bookshelves are probably going to look new for the new video I'm going to do in a couple days. My mid-month checkup or whatever I do. If you're watching this, thank you. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. I can't think of anything else to say. Endings are hard. That's how we all end my videos here. Uh, like and subscribe. Keep on keeping on.